Hello coders, in this part 4 of read underscore CSV, we are going to discuss how we can use column or columns as the row labels of the pandas data frame. That I am going to explain you using index underscore call parameter of read underscore CSV and also using set underscore index which is method of pandas data frame. Also I am going to explain you multi index. Multi index or multi level index allows you to have multiple columns acting as a row identifier. So let's get started. Let I first import pandas as pd. Now let we load our data set pd read underscore csv marks dot csv that you can download it from my github account. Link is given in the description below. Now you can see our data set. Now I am going to make this name column as our index column that you can do with index call is equal to here also you can give position of this column like name 0 marks 1 and 2 because here is 0 1 and 2. So if I write 0 over here now you can see name is now our index column our row identifier. If I write 1 over here, now you can see now marks is our index column. In place of this position, also you can directly write column names that you can see over here. Let I write grades. Now grades is our index column. Same we can do with set underscore index. Let I show you this. Let I copy and paste this statement over here. Now let I remove this. Now you can see our original data set. Now in place of index underscore call we can use method set underscore index. Let I give marks. Now you can see marks is our index column. So please remember this index underscore call which is parameter of read underscore csv but here set underscore index which is method of pandas data frame. Also we can give multi index also called as a multi level index or hierarchical index which allows you to have multiple columns acting as a row identifier. To show this let I again copy read underscore csv. Let I remove this. Now you can see our data set. Now I am going to make name and marks both as our index column. So for that we have to write index underscore call name and marks inside the python list that you can see over here. Now name and marks both are working as our index column. Now you can see over here if you want to reset it we can write reset reset underscore index that will reset the index and make our data set as it is that you can see over here. So in this video I covered how we can make the particular column as our row identifier which is also called as an index column using index underscore call which is parameter of read underscore csv same we can do with set underscore index which is method of pandas data frame or also we can give multi index like this that we have to pass inside the python list also we can reset the index using reset underscore index which is method of pandas data frame. Thank you. Thank you for watching.